What's up everyone? So today I'm going to show you real quick how to go through a computer and actually replace the NIT card. Now my NIT card's not actually bad, uh, but it's not getting the speeds that I'm wanting it to. I'm only getting about a little less than 100 megabits per second, so I have bought a replacement that is a gigabit NIT card and uh, I wanted to go ahead and show you guys how to throw that in there real quick. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. Most computers are going to have these screws here on the back that allows access to um, the inside components. So we'll start by just basically unscrewing those. And with those out of the way, the side will just pop right off like so. Now let's put that to the side. If you take a look down inside, you can see where everything is uh, extremely dusty. I'm get, actually getting ready to clean everything in here, so don't judge me on that. But um, here's the NIC card right here. Now, uh, it has actually been replaced before, which is why there's a blank slot here. But um, that one got fried, so I went down to the local uh, computer store and purchased the cheapest one I could find, which, looking back now, uh, was actually a mistake. I should have just went ahead and got a better one at the time, but... Anywho, we're just going to go ahead and replace that today with uh, the gigabit. So, most computers have these little uh, screws here that hold all your components onto the motherboard. It's the motherboard there on the back. And then you have other components attached to that. It's what runs everything there. So, what I'm going to do is actually undo this screw right here that's holding on the motherboard, or holding the NIT card to the motherboard. And then with that screw out, the NIT card actually is plugged in right in the back there. You just kind of pull on it. You want to try to pull exactly horizontal so that you're pulling it out. Um, not at an angle and you don't want to damage your um, motherboard. So just like that. And you can see it's got one connection right there on the side. So what I would do is just pull that right out, like so. For the new NIT card, I went with a D-Link Gigabit desktop PCI adapter. As you can see there, it's rated up to a gigabit. Um, so any speeds up to that should be able to handle. And this is what it looks like here. All right, so to install it, it's almost exactly the same as um, the uninstallation except for we're going in reverse this time so we we'll basically just slide it right into place there without dropping it all over the place like I'm doing and then you just want to push it in horizontally just like we pulled the other one out once that's in line you just take your screw that you pulled out And then that's pretty much it. Um, what I found out is that little cable from earlier that I unplugged from the side was not actually plugged into anything, so not even necessary. But um, that's it for the installation. Now you would just put the side back on and uh, plug everything back into the computer before turning it on. And uh, use your CD that came with the new NIT card to install it. Everything's pretty user-friendly. Um, it'll run you right through that without you having to really think about it too much. And that's it. You have your new NIT card installed. I'm going to actually take this computer out and get it cleaned. Um, put a comment in the section below if you'd actually like to um, see how that's done. But it's fairly simple. Basically just blow all the dust out with air. Um, and you don't want to touch anything on the inside components there um, that might actually cause a static discharge. Uh, you might actually blow something in the computer there. So only use air when uh, cleaning your computer out. 
And that's pretty much it for now. Thank you very much for watching and hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, feel free to watch any of my other videos uh, on the, the right hand side there. Thank you very much.